Praise the Lord, Prophet of the Lord. Amen, Pastor Joanne. Praise the Lord, Pastor Joanne. The Lord has spoken to me today. In this cycle, the last cycle of 24 hours, the Lord has spoken with me about a very, very important event and a very important occurrence that is about to take place on the earth. In these past few weeks and months, the Lord has been speaking with me very, very tremendously about the nations in a very systematic and a very sequential way. And in those conversations, the Lord began by speaking about Botswana, and then the Lord spoke about Mexico, and the Lord spoke about Nigeria, and the Lord indeed did speak about Europe, and you saw the big flood that came over to Europe, and then earlier on, 2011, he had spoken to about India, Russia recently, and many other conversations. But in the, fa in the past 24 hours, the Lord Jehovah El Gibor, the mighty God of Israel, he has spoken with me about the tremendous judgment of the Lord that is coming to visit the earth. And in that conversation, the Lord, he lifted me up and he took me to the nation of the United States of America. Finally, the Lord took me to the United States of America in that mighty, mighty dream. And he showed me the defilement in the land, tremendous defilement in the land of the United States of America. Key among them, he showed me evil worship, devil worship. And the Lord said they belong to a secret club. I, so I saw a lot of people that belong to this devil worship club. So I think it's the Freemason club. And the Lord also showed me how they have key positions in leadership, in places, in business, and all over. And then the Lord showed me also other ills in the land, the wickedness in the land. And key among the things the Lord highlighted was the fall in the church in the United States of America. And again, finally the Lord again, once more, has spoken with me about the United States of America about the tremendous judgment of Jehovah, the judgment of the Lord that is coming to the United States of America. And in the church, the Lord showed me in that dream the false prophets in the United States of America, the false apostles doing their thing, the false evangelists, false pastors, false teachers, the, the un, unimaginable level of falsehood that has entered into the Church of Christ in the United States of America. And yet it is true that the Church in the USA is largely, if not entirely now, an apostate Church, a fallen Church, a Church that is undergoing a, apostasy. A church that has taken another road. The highway of holiness is here, and they have detoured and taken another road. And that's why this time around, finally, the moment has arrived for the Lord to speak about the church and the condition of the church, the condition of the land owing to the condition of the church 
in the United States of America. And in this conversation, the Lord, he took me to the United States of America, the USA, and he showed me devil worshiping going on, the so-called Freemason or secret clubs or societies, so to say. He also showed me the false preachings, the gospel of money and deception, selling the blood of Jesus. He showed me tremendous immorality in the land, beginning from the church and at the pulpit. And then he showed me the near witchcraft practice at the pulpit, where every single pastor, every single shepherd is clamoring for money. The Lord has shown me the wickedness in the land of the United States of America. And then in that dream, all of a sudden he asked me, please pass judgment unto this land. And when I did that, in that dream, all of a sudden, I saw a lot of flies that came, tremendous number of zillions, trillions, I don't know how many flies covered me all over, covering the whole land of the United States of America. Black flies. Again, a lot of flies came and covered the whole land. And for those of you who know how the Lord speaks, that is one of the ways in which the Lord expresses and demonstrates His judgment that is coming to a place. And so I have seen the tremendous judgment of the Lord coming to the United States of America, and yet the Lord Jehovah is such a just God, is a faithful God, that if at any time he announces that a nation, according to the book of Jeremiah chapter 18, and he says if at any time he announces a judgment coming over a nation, destruction coming over a nation, demolition, the judgment of Jehovah, destruction, the wrath of God, if at any time Jehovah announces the wrath that is coming unto a land. And if those people will faithfully repent and turn away from that wickedness that has brought about judgment over them, then the Lord says in Jeremiah 18, He says, He shall be faithful enough to relent, not to judge them. Kenya is one case in time. When recently the Lord had spoken from 2011, all the way to 2012 and 13, that blood would flow in Kenya during the elections. But when the nation of Kenya gathered as one man and repented before the Lord with their leaders, their current leadership and all the other leaders, when they gathered as one man and repented on that day before the Lord, February 24th, 2013, then Kenya had peace elections. Then the Lord relented. And in the same context, the Lord is saying that this is a command, this is a trumpet to the United States of America, that the time to turn away from sin and prepare for the coming of the Messiah is now. The time to observe a national repentance in the USA is now. It is not tomorrow. Because now the Lord has spoken. He has rebuked the falsehood in the church. The liars who are harvesting money in the church. The gospel of private aeroplanes, the gospel of immorality, the gospel of prosperity in the USA. The Lord has now commanded repentance in the United States of America. I am reminded here of the prophecy I gave 2007 when I spoke about the coming of the tremendous floods in New Orleans and the massive devastation that took place 
when they fail to repent. I don't know what form of judgment this will be, but I've seen the tremendous flies that covered me, and the Lord took me all over all the state, and a lot of trillions of flies all over everywhere, black flies. I was running for my life also. The judgment of the Lord is coming to the land. The Lord is asking for repentance, but he may not judge. The Bible in the book of Psalms, Psalm 119, verse 137. Again, Psalm 119, verse 137. He says, Righteous art thou, O Lord, and upright are thy judgments. He says, Righteous art thou, O Lord, and upright are thy judgments. Meaning the judgments of the Lord are righteous. The Lord is just and righteous in his judgment. Right now, he has spoken about Nigeria. The judgment of the Lord is coming to Nigeria. For the same wickedness, same sin in the church. That the church may now repent, turn away from sin, and once more become the salt of the nation, the light of the world. The world is clamoring, crying, craving, running around, looking for a solution. But the church is fallen. The light of the world, that is the church, is now apostate. And that's why now the Lord is awakening the church. He says, thy judgments are righteous. The righteousness of the Lord must now be established. The judgment coming to Botswana, the judgment coming to Mexico, the judgment coming to Nigeria. I spoke to Russia before the earthquake struck from here and also from Amsterdam. I spoke to Europe when I said the floods are coming. When I was at Vienna in Austria and look what happened, the devastation in Europe. And it was historic, never seen in 500 years. I spoke to India from Hyderabad. I said the floods are coming. Look, more than 5,000 have 